everybody wants their story told. That's the basic human desire. We all want it. And I was lucky enough to get my story told in the p most powerful medium there is, the cinema, the movies. And it was done by this guy right here, Neil Berkeley. Uh, I met Wayne 12 years ago. I was uh, just moved to Hollywood, and I was struggling. I was uh, interning, PAing, digging ditches, whatever I could do. And I worked for a design studio called Smart Pill, and he was there drawing those Priceline commercials. And you know, I, his whole career tracked my childhood, Pee Wee's and Beekman's and the videos. And I was fascinated by him, and I was quoting him. I was throwing Pee Wee's lines at him, and I was annoying. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, so we stayed in touch. And about three years ago, I uh, had the means to make a movie. And I said, hey, man, you've got this book coming out with Todd Oldham. You've got your, your fine arts taking off. You know, Pee Wee's about to do his show. It, the time is right. Let's do it. We should do something. And he said, no, it's a bad idea. No one know, you know, it's, you shouldn't do that. Don't do it. I didn't think this thing was going to happen, and I didn't want it to happen. I still didn't believe in it. But sure enough, he flies down to Houston while I'm making that giant George Jones head on his own dime with his own camera equipment, and he starts filming me. And, I'm, I'm, and if that's, at that moment, I'm still going, okay, let's play like we're making a documentary. You know, <laughs> okay, let's play like you're interviewing me. It just didn't seem real. And then he followed me back to uh, California, and he kept coming over to the house. And, and, and filming interviews and stuff. Before I knew it, he put together an eight-minute reel, and he was showing it to people around town, and they were starting to believe in it, and he was attracting other top talent to help him work on that. That's when I knew he had the, the, the right stuff. Uh, Wayne saw the movie for the first time on March 10th of this year at South by Southwest with my parents and family and everyone I know. We, I shot for two and a half years, and he saw maybe several frames. Um, the one thing he did influence, uh, my, my day job is I do animation for TV and uh, films, but uh, we did those end credits with the cartoon characters. Wayne drew those characters and he art directed that piece. And that was my, I said, hey man, I'll let you, or I will, I will work with you on this end credits if you don't watch the movie. And he said, okay, fine. Because he had to get his hands on that because animation is his bag, right? So that was the one thing. But no, he let me do my thing. He let me do anything I said, he would say yes. I said, hey, will you do a project with Woodrow? Yes. He built a uh, LBJ puppet head and danced on a mountain. You know, if you watch that footage, the raw footage, you hear me laughing and giggling in the background because I'm sitting there going, okay, Wayne, dance over here. Now dance over here. Now dance like this. Now freeze. Oh, okay, now dance like this. Now dance like this. And it's, the, the whole time he said, yes, yes, yes. And his family invited me in their home, and they were wonderful, but it was always like they would do whatever, whatever needed to happen to make the movie happen. So it was great. I'm a cheap date, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I also practice the artist's golden rule. When I collaborate with another artist and I commit to another artist like Neil, I, I practice the golden rule. I, don't, I wouldn't want him standing over my shoulder while I made a painting, and he certainly doesn't want me standing over his shoulder while he makes a movie. He doesn't know anything enough about painting to tell me, and I certainly know nothing about uh, documentary filmmaking to tell him what to do. So. That's a trust that I give other artists if I commit to working with them. And it's difficult. And that's why I mostly like to work alone because I've been burned a million times by giving that trust and not coming back. And that's another quality of, of Neil's that really came shining through is that he delivered and he, and he uh, honored that trust I gave him. And it was mutual. And we love each other. <laughs> I, I, I was nurtured on negative reinforcement, as you can see in the movie. And uh, a sense of defiance, I think, is a good thing for the artist. Because it's certainly, you certainly need it to survive in this culture. This culture doesn't support art. It doesn't support the artist. They, you know, that's the first thing out the window, you know, when the money gets tight. And art is uh, considered frivolous and, and really not essential. And of course, it's number one with me. And yeah, I do. I guess I'm always going to be like 15 years old in that sense. I'm always looking f to uh, kick against something, you know. And uh, I think that's essential quality for the artist. I really do. Defiance. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Boston. Thanks, Wayne White, Neil Berkeley. Thanks, everybody, for coming out.